Okay, so here's the loaf. Different colour this time, so it's got more nuts in it. But it's settled really well. Sliced easy. But I actually want to do something else with it. And that is, we love sausage toad, but of course, <clears throat> I can't take meat fat anymore, so we don't have the meat. So I also don't like all the processed stuff. So that loaf was press cooked, 200 or 190 if you've got a convector, for two hours, press cooked, then cold pressed for an hour or two. Now I'm just gonna mix it with a bit of the, um, Crunchy mix, which you've seen before. Try to finish that off. And then I'm just gonna mix in a bit of flour to bind it, turn them into sausages, and then just treat them for sausage toad. It'll work, um, so I won't bother showing you, unless it doesn't work. <laughs> it's more fun to see if it goes wrong, isn't it? So this is what we're doing to avoid having to buy, even the vegan sausages, when you read what's in them, and the best vegetarian sausages, when I see what's in them, I just think, well, I'll just make it with ingredients I know. It's not being arrogant, it's not being just something, have a go yourself. No skins, obviously, because the um, we tried the vegan skins once, but didn't really work, not a nice texture. So we're just doing these. And then we'll pop these into Yorkshire pudding batter, yum yum. I just have sausage toad, why not? Ha <laughs> ha. This is why this mixture is so versatile. You can use it in all sorts of ways. It'll probably make nice burgers too. But hey ho, who wants that in a bun with bread? Mm, not me, thank you all. Bye.